All right, so today is day 287 and we are here for web development and today I'm thinking of doing some sort of like top like like model thing website. Um, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, it's probably not going to be responsive. I'm just going to try to get this done real quick just as a little practice for today. So we're going to do doc type HTML, um, put in our HTML tag, close our HTML tag. Inside, I'm going to skip the head tag and I'm just going to do the body tag, which is where everything I'm going to see over here on the left is going to appear if I write it inside the body tags. Okay, so I'm thinking... One second. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to start with a container. So I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to give it a class container so that I can target it in my CSS and then so that you can see what I just made I'm going to give that a border <coughs> of five pixels um, black solid and you're going to see that it has no height so I'm going to do a hundred um, vertical height of the screen and so now you can see that that's the container now as you can see there's kind of like a padding or like a margin outside it's actually a margin outside of the container so in order to get rid of any automatic um, padding or margin I'm just going to zero it out and then you can see that's going to disappear and I'm using the star button to apply for everything now um, I'm going to make the background color hold on I still have it whoa what is that oh that's my okay let me go to colors Um, so I'm going to use these images. I really like them. It's giving green vibes. So I'm going to do a container and this is going to be my grid. So inside I'm going to have a div. I'm going to call it class grid. Um, and in the grid I'm going to have um, a few cards. So I'm going to call it class card. Um, in the card I'm going to have a thumbnail. So I'm going to give it class thumbnail and then um, I'm going to have div class um, grid content and inside grid content I'm going to do an h1 which is going to be the title and a paragraph and I'm going to do um, some, I'm going to do lorem and press tab and then close that there. And then I'm going to give the card over here an ID of card one. And then I'm just going to copy um, this a few times, like maybe six times. Um, so I'm going to go back to the top. So I'm going to do this is card one. Where is it? Card one. It's going to be card two. I'm going to just change the IDs. Um, card three. Card four, card five, um, card six. Now to give you an idea of what I just did, I'm going to give everything a border. So the grid, I'm going to give it a border of five pixels um, red solid. Um, for each card, you're going to see that it's going to have a border of five pixels black solid. Um, and then the thumbnail the thumbnail. You can see that it's going to have a border of five pixels red solid and then the grid content is going to have a border of five pixels black solid. Okay so um, it's going to make a little more sense in a second. So for the container I'm going to give it a display of grid um, and that's not going to change anything because you haven't specified how you want your grid to look like. So you want to do grid template columns. And I'm going to say I want three columns. So I'm going to do three times one if R. So basically that's saying take the whole container and separate it between three if like R. Um, three like equally sized columns. So, um, but I don't want the container to do that. I want the grid to do that. My bad. So I want that to happen over here. There we go. Um, so that's going to be what the grid is, and then <clears throat> I'm going to do a grid gap so the um, cards are separated. Let me do like 2 EM, 
all right um so then you see the cards and then i'm gonna go and i'm gonna target each card so i'm gonna do card one dot thumbnail and i'm gonna do a background url i'm gonna paste the link to the picture so i'm gonna start with this one copy image i like right click and then copy image address and then paste it here and you're gonna see that it's not gonna pop up because it's not given a height so i always like to give it a height of 270 pixels um and then do a background size of cover so that it covers the entire width of the size and then if that um also doesn't adjust the thing the image we could do background position and adjust it as we want it so i'm gonna do from the bottom um, and maybe from the bottom center would work better. Or is it center bottom? Or maybe we could do bottom, and I think if we do like 20 pixels. Why doesn't this ever work? Okay. Um. And it's moving to the left. I don't want that. Okay, we're going to do bottom, and then we're just going to make this maybe 470 pixels. I think that's better. Um, what if I do center? Would that change? Eh, that's fine. All right, so that's one image for card one. I think that's fine. Um, let's do another image. So for this one, we could do... This one, right click, copy image address. Um, I'm just gonna paste it down here and I'm just gonna copy this. Um, I'm gonna do card two and then just change the URL. I'm actually gonna copy this for the next one too. I'm gonna do three, four, five, six, and then change the IDs. So six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so then this is gonna go in here. And then we're gonna see that it's gonna pop up any second now. Oops, hold on. I forgot to do this real quick. Okay, so that's good. Then let's move on to another image. How about this one? Oops. Um, and just post that over here. I mean, paste that over there. Um, why do I keep clicking on this? Which one haven't we used yet? Ooh, I love this one. Ooh, here we go again. Just paste that in there. Um, let's see which ones else do we have. Um... I don't think we used this one yet. So we can copy image address, paste that in here, um, and then we can, do we use that one yet? I don't think we used this one. Copy image address, and finally paste that in the final one over here. Okay, now notice that the black line over here in the container is actually um, not going all the way to the end. We can fix that by going to the container and giving it a height of min content so that it, the container height is the minimum content of the screen. I also want the container to actually the grid to have, let's say, a margin of, um, let's say, actually, you know what I could do? I can have the container, right, I can give it a display a flex so that the whole thing is centered so hold on give me one second let me save it and then open it on debug mode so that you can see what it looks like <clears throat> okay so this is what it looks like so far so i'm actually going to give the grid or the container Maybe I'll give the grid a margin of 50 pixels so that there's space between, right, like that. But then that kind of centers it for me as well. Not really, though. Um, actually, yeah, it does. You know, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Actually, I don't know. Should I? 
Or maybe I could do the same thing with a display of flex. And I can do um justify con content center and align items center. And then it's mm, still not working. Okay, so I guess I guess it's better to just have I guess it's not gonna move. Because I guess it's already in the center. We can just do a margin, or maybe I should have done it. Actually, never mind. Yeah, let's just do a margin of 50 pixels so that it does look like it's in the center. Okay, good. Um, so we have the grid so far, so I like it like that. That's pretty nice. Um, now, if I'm gonna talk about like the 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 font size, I can go to Google Fonts and kind of browse some fonts here. Um. Okay, where's the fonts? Hello? What? Okay, here we go. This is the set I want it to be on. Um, so I want something that's like nice. can write it hold on I can actually write it so which one looks actually I'm gonna give it a title should I give it a title model one or oh you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it like project X no not the thing I want the sentence to be project X oh my god project X which one looks better This is so hard. Mmm, I like this one. Okay, so let me go over here. Um, I don't want this style. Don't want this either. I just want this one. So. Let me import. Um, so I'll import that somewhere over here in my HTML. So I'll keep that inside over here, the body. And then what I'll do is I'll just copy this then to my CSS. So then over here, um, I'll go to grid content and I'll just paste that in there. So it should change. Oh my God, actually that looks really bad. What if I do line, I'm sorry, um, letter spacing. I mean, I guess. And then we can also give everything in here like a margin of five pixels. No, 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 no. It's not gonna do that, is it? <sighs> That's not what I wanted. Okay, um, so I guess I'll have to address it. So grid content, um, grid content H1 has to have a margin top so that's separated from the card of like let's say five pixels and then also grid content paragraph has to have a margin 
um, top of five pixels that would separate it from the title, right? A little bit. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my HTML and what I'm going to do is, since I already have this grid done, I'm just going to remove the border. Actually, not for the grid though. Hold on. These. Oh, I forgot to do like the hover effect. Let me do that real quick. So when I hover over the card, I want it to move up two pixels. So I'm going to do relative to the card move from the top, move negative two pixels. So it's going to move to the top when I click over it. See how nice. Okay. And then to kind of make it responsive, I'm going to do a media query. So I'm going to do max width, let's say 800 pixels. I'm going to tell the um, grid, whoa, what happened? Okay, I'm going to tell the grid to have a grid template columns of repeat um, two times 1FR instead of three. And then when it gets to a certain like 600, 400 pixels, I don't know, I'm going to do just 1FR. Let's just see how that looks like so far. See, it turns into, but I don't want it to be like that. Okay, actually, let me, I just want it to be 1FR as soon as it turns 800 pixels. Okay, maybe let's do 900. That's fine. Okay, so let me delete the borders. Um, if I can find them. Okay, so let me delete that border. This border. Um, this border. And then I'll leave everything else here. I think that looks really nice. Um, I'm just going to leave the border of the container so I can see where everything is relative to that. But I think that's really, really nice. Um, I guess the only thing that's left, hmm, no, I think that's right. Um, now I want to go, let's say, back to my HTML, and before the container, I want to do, um, what can I do? I can do, like, I think I should call this, like, grid container, even though it, the grid is the grid. I don't know. I'm just going to say... Um, I'm going to call this screen, or I could just call it wrapper. It's the same thing as a container. And I'm just going to do like a div, and I'm going to give it a class called header. And in it, I'm going to do um, a div. I'm going to give an ID of logo. And then I'm also going to do a class. I'm going to call it navbar. Actually, I don't want to give it a class for now. Before. I don't know. Do I want to give it a nav bar? I'm not sure. I definitely could give it a nav bar. But do I want to? I probably should. I don't know. Because I have a wrapper, right? And then I have a header. And then I think I'm going to do a div class. And I'm going to call it a hero section. And then I'm going to have a showcase in there. And I'm also going to have like an h1. I'm going to actually do div class hero title. And then in there, I'm going to do like an h1. And I'm going to call it... Um, Models, our models, book our models, <sighs> modeling agency, modeling agency to help 
I don't know. What's a call to action thing? Um, models galore. I don't know. That sounds so gross. <laughs> models galore. Um, find the model for your project today. For your advertisement. Is that how you spell advertisement? Advertisement. I am so sure that's not how you spell advertisement. I just don't want it to seem like, like, it's, she's, a, they're people, like, I don't want to say, like, book your model, like, that sounds weird, that's like, book a hotel, but, like, you can't, you can't book a person, um, hire, hire a model today, hire a model today, book a consultation, hire the model of your dreams, that sounds so wrong, hold on, I don't know how to book, word this, I think I'm just gonna say, um, I'm gonna say modeling agency, modeling agency specializing in nature. Specializing in the outdoors. I don't know how model agencies work, but I'm sure that that's not how it works. So, and is that even how you spell? this i'm so sure there's a spelling error somewhere there see that okay um so we did that all right so in the outdoors and then that's what's gonna that's what that's gonna be um book our services today and then maybe I'll do like a div class button. And I'll do like um, an href of going nowhere and say book our services to That's just book a consultation, hire us. I don't know. I'm not good at marketing. Um, okay, so I think that's good for this one, but then I don't know what I want to do here. The logo, and then we have a nav bar. Um, maybe for the logo, instead of doing a logo, I'll just do like an H1, and I'll call it um, a model. sounds so bad how about i do like project project n sounds better or project x i'm gonna call it project x i like i don't know it sounds better to me why is there an n tag i feel like that's better project x okay okay so and then the nav bar i just don't know do i want a nav bar i just hate making unordered lists it's so tedious so for each and every list is a list item. Each list item has an A tag. I'm gonna do um, home. And then I'm gonna do home. Um, how it works. Or maybe works. Um, and then contact. Okay, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, and then I feel like I'm missing something. Probably not. Okay, let's start with the wrapper. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna click on here and then make a lot of space. Okay, so for the wrapper, I'm gonna give it a border five pixels we'll do red solid so you can see what it is all right that's the wrapper 
Um, and then for the header, I'm going to give it a border, 5 pixels, green solid. Okay, and then um, um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, okay, so I'll do, ugh, maybe I'll do display grid, grid template, columns, 1fr, 1fr, okay, and then for the um, nav bar, let me see what it looks like, 5 pixels, purple solid, okay, I need to give it a display, actually no, hold on, the nav bar, on order list list items needs to have a display of inline so that everything is in the same line. Um, they, they have to have a padding of let's say 10 pixels and they have to have a list style of none to remove the bullet points which you can't even see at this point. And then we can do nav bar on order list list item A to direct um, to, to target the links and remove the text decoration which is the line under and then move the color to be something like black so it changes the color of the A. And then we can also do text transform to be uppercase, but they all become capital letters. And then we can also do um, a line spacing of the two pixels so that it's kind of nice. Letter spacing. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do a font weight. Um, the font weight of bold and then i'm also going to kind of um borrow this font family and just put that in here oh my god that's so bad how about font size 20 pixels it just looks so juvenile i don't care it's fine um All right, and then, okay, so then we have the logo, which is the H1, and I'm just going to copy literally everything, okay, and then I'm just going to make it like 30 pixels, 35 pixels, that's nice, all right. And then what I'm going to do for the nav bar, I think everything inside, can you just float it to the right, please work? No? Okay, that's fine. Um, so I don't know, I think I'm going to have to do text align center, right? But then I don't think that looks... I guess, maybe we can move the nav bar to have a width of 80% of the screen and then have a position of relative and then move it from the left like 25% and then see what that looks like. Not the nav bar, I meant the um, the header. Oh, come on. Okay, width of 80% of the screen, um, position, relative, and then from the left 25%, so that it's relative to the wrapper. Okay, um, I don't like it. 15%? Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. But I don't like it. I still don't like it. It doesn't work for me. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh my god, this is so hard. Um... How about I go to the, um, header? And I do this instead, like three columns. And then and then I'll like specifically say for the nav bar, I want it to be grid um, column to be one, two, two to three, three to four, to be three to four. So it's all the way over there. Yep, much better. And then maybe move it a little bit like 
10%. Okay. And then I'm going to work on my hero section. So my hero section, I'm going to give it a background of a certain image, which I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Let me see. Um... I don't know, they're all like the same, like vertical, and I really need like a horizontal image. So let me see, I'm going to give this a height of 100 VH, okay, um, and I'm going to give it a background size of cover so that it doesn't repeat, um, maybe a background position of um, bottom. Okay, that's really ugly, let me tell you. <sighs> I don't know. How about this one? Why is it, like, so blurry? These pictures are not coming out nice. My internet connection is so... Yeah, this is horrifying. Um, I really don't know what to tell you. You know what, maybe I can use... No. Um. None of these match. Hmm. Oh my god, that's literally so beautiful. Bottom, center. Ugh, but why is the quality so horrifying? It's literally so bad. I don't know what I'm gonna do. There we go. That was beautiful though. Maybe this. No. Seems better. So let's do bottom. Okay. And then 
if I remember correctly, I think I can do a certain thing right now. Um, which is to give it like a, what do you call it, a, an overlay? Um, hopefully I can still do it. Let's see if I can do it. So it's linear, gradient, and then RGBA, zero, zero, maybe it's zero point seven, zero point seven. 0.7, 0 0.77, those are probably wrong. And then the same thing again. And then maybe, maybe not. Please work. Why is it like this? Oh, oh my god, it worked! Oh my god, not me doing something for once. Oh, would you look at that? Literally, would you look at that? Okay, now to move the nav bar over the um, this hero section, I'm going to go to the header. Not the nav bar, I'm sorry, the header. And I'm just going to give it a position. Actually, I should have given it a position of absolute. Okay, and then everything in the header should have been a color of white. So why? Oh, it's probably because I changed the color over here. Okay, so that's what I wanted, yes. Alright, isn't that great? Okay. Alright, we need to make this way bigger though. Um, so I'm going to give it a font size of maybe 50. <laughs> Maybe not 30. Didn't I have it at 35? Okay, maybe 35 pixels. And then over here for the logo. Wait, I had it at 35. So let's do 45. I just feel like they don't match. And like the font sizes don't match either. Like it's very. Ugh. Okay, and then, what, what do I have next? I have the hero title section. So everything in here, I want the same, all of this, just put that in there. This except this, I don't need this. Oh, actually, actually, never mind. Um, maybe not this for now. Maybe not this either. Um, I can do a width, 200 pixels, 300 pixels, 600, okay, and then I can make it a position relative to the hero section, and then from the top, I can make it like 50 pixels, actually, you know what I could have done, I could just make the hero section um, a display of flex and just to bring it down to the center I could just do justify content center so we'll bring it down to the center justify content did I not spell that right oh my god I guess not display there we go um no, I meant a line. There we go. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going for. Kind of, maybe. Um, I hate, I really hate this, like, um, font over here. Like, it looks good on the grid, but it looks horrifying over here. Like, why? Okay, and then maybe we can have a margin um, of, from the left of like 50 pixels. So it goes a little bit like that. We have doors. Okay, and then maybe let's do the button, which is the only button we have now. 
I'm going to give it a background of let's say white. Um, I'm going to do let's say a width of 150 pixels. I don't know if that's too small. Yeah, that's way too small. 200. I guess that's fine. I'm going to do text align center. Um, and then I'm going to do dot button and I'm going to select the A and I'm going to do color black. Um, and I'm also going to remove the underline. So I'm going to do text decoration none. And then I, wow, that is beautiful. Wow, okay. And then when I hover um, over the button, what do I want to happen? Do I want it to like um, change a color? Maybe I can do background none. And then if I do that, look what happens to be. And then, okay. And then when button hover, I want the A to change color to white. I don't like it. Or maybe background none, but then we have a border of three pixels white solid. Every time I try to do something, I end up doing like um, an L five pixels. Okay, five pixels. I just don't like that when I do that. It brings that upwards. It's because I have a margin, right? Hold on. Okay, so it's kind of looking like this. Higher S. English questions with outdoors. Project X. Home works context. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my HTML and I'm gonna just do a span here um, and I'm going to do for the span I'm going to leave it as it is I'm gonna do a span and then the color is gonna be white it's already white but then what I'm gonna do is over here I'm gonna change it so that it's um that it's kind of like a gray color so instead of this, I'm going to do light gray. Gray. I hate that color. Really, it's ugly. But then I said the span has to be, oh, it's an element. Okay. I think that works. Um... And then when I hover over it, when I hover over these but um these nav bar, nav bar thingies, list items. So nav bar, under the list, list item A, when I hover over these, I need the color to change to white. So when I do that, it changes to white. And then I need the span. So when I do this, Navbar, an order list, a hover. I need the span to change to um, gray. How did I spell gray? So that. <gasps> it's not working though. Oh no, that's not what I meant. When I hover over these, when I do this, I don't want it to. Maybe not the best idea. Okay, there we go. Whatever. Um, and this is Project X. So let me remove um, this border. And then My header. Oh my 
one over here. Okay, so let's look at what it looks like. Ew! Okay, we have to give some margin to that um, header. So from the top, or we can just move it from the top 20%. <gasps> That's so ugly. 5%. Oh. oh, okay. I think that was scared me a little bit. Okay, Project X. I just feel like this needs to be moved a little bit downwards. So, hero title. Um, margin from the top needs to be like 50 pixels. Mm, maybe like... 80. Maybe a hundred, bro. Like, get your life together. Okay, whatever. I don't. I don't even care. Um. Maybe the button can have like a margin top of twenty pixels. So you have some more space. Okay. Okay. Alright, I like it. And then you have like this. I just feel like it doesn't match. Like this image doesn't match. Maybe I can find something better. Something like yellowish. Where's my hero section? Does that look better? Uh, I don't know. I really don't like it. How about I move this? Right. No. Left. Ugh. That's literally not what I said. I feel like I don't know where to look at if I do this. I don't like it. When do I ever like anything like this, right? Like, I really need to make up my mind. Maybe this, but this is very green. I don't know. I guess. You know what? I feel like it's off this. This needs to be more to the right. It's more aligned to where Project X is. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do margin from the left maybe like um, 250 pixels. Whoa, no. 150 pixels. Um, let's do 90. 100. Um, 95. Really? 92? Like... 89. I think that's fine. Let's look at what it looks like. Oh, it still looks really bad. <laughs> what? Um, 120 pixels. 130 pixels. 150 pixels, like I had in the beginning. Um, 155? What's going on? Hey, no. 155 pixels. Okay, I think that's fine. I don't know. I don't like it. I really don't. Modeling agency specializing in the outdoors. Hire us. Maybe we can make it a little less bigger. Um, or a little less big. So we can do maybe 25 pixels. That is literally horrifying. Actually, I, I think we could do that. And then we can give it a width of maybe half of that. Three. Nah. Four. Yeah. I don't know, is that better? I don't know, I'm just not liking the way that this is here. And then maybe, you know what I'll do, I can kind of take the green over here 
and then give go back to my HTML and give this X a span um, with an ID of um, X <laughs> and then I'll just go over here and then do hashtag X and give it a color whatever color that is it's not gonna work why it's so mean oh so annoying hmm well that sucks I guess we can only do it for Whatever, I don't care. Alright, um, I think that's fine. And then we kind of get to this. Um, let me do myself a favor and kind of remove the border for the grid or the container, whatever we had it for. So it looks a little bit better. This is what we have so far. Um, and then I kind of want to give it the same color as this but like not so dark um for the background so for the body for like everything um, i'm gonna do background color of this so if i run it it should kind of be like that i don't know if i like it and then um turn everything in the container i guess in the grid to be white so i have to find a grid real quick so everything in the grid i want the color or not really the grid content right here that's more specific color to be white save that and it should look like that but it's kind of hard to read now this is, this is like really hard to read um so maybe what i can do is i can make the font size bigger so we'll do a font size of 25 pixels. Uh, that's that's prettier, yeah. And I think we're good. Uh, this is really exciting. I did something. I just feel like the picture doesn't match these pictures. Like this girl is very sunny. And then this one's like more dark. <laughs> I don't know. Project X, modeling agency specializing in the outdoors. Hire us. Home works contact. I don't even know what this means. What is what what are you what modeling agency but like what does that even mean? I just invented that. Um so it looks like this, very nice. Um maybe I can add a button here in the bottom saying like um see other works. I don't really care enough. Okay, we're not doing this anymore. Okay, let me close this. We're gonna use this. I did use this, so I'm gonna have to link this in my web development stuff but yeah so far we are done for today so materials three two eight seven at this point i don't even add images it's a waste of my time you can literally just copy paste the link from the code pen like just enter the code go to the code pen and then just copy the link okay so um design resources Here's the link, um, font, and I called it Beba's New, whatever that's called, I don't know. Oops, wrong one, okay, here, over here. All right, and then here is the code. Here is the result um productive day yes um i'm not i don't know like um home page modeling agency home page um we did navigation card ui responsive grid responsive well, not really the website is a responsive, it's just a responsive grid. 
updated grids and then home page i didn't do a modals flex box maybe no i didn't okay that's it um and then let me screenshot this that's not screenshot I just wait a second oh wow okay and then ooh, oh jesus christ really sorry i ruined it because i had that highlighted Ugh. Oh my god, this actually looks decent. I'm very surprised. Okay. Um, okay, let me add image. Downloads. Oh, it's already there. Okay. What? Why does it hate me? Tell me why, bro. I'll just take a screenshot of it, even though it's going to be horrible quality. Like, why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Okay, let me control. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, nothing but a Maybe it'll let me do the PDF. Really? Can this thing do absolutely anything useful? <sighs> so annoying. Really, not even the PDF. So annoying. I'll just zoom in and then just take a nice screenshot of this you know i could just do it here like what am i i'm gonna call this um where am i Okay, over here. Upload. Call that done. And then I'm going to do image. Upload. Also calling it done. Wait, why is it like that? I didn't... Okay, now this is annoying me because I don't understand. Like, does that look... Like, what? Bro. Thank you. Like, was that hard? Jesus. So weird. What are they? Okay. Um, it just doesn't want to save right. It's been acting up. Okay. Um, click access. Okay, this is still not saving right. And it's irritating me. gonna say great template columns um yeah that's it <laughs> maybe card i don't think i have um yeah that's all i pretty much did honestly i just used grid okay that's done 
Um, let me close this, let me close that, let me close this, and have a great day.